Reporter, and we're down here on the bottom of the Lower East Side. We're going to run into Regina Rex and take a look at Love Chapel, an exhibition by Zachary Cahill. And this lady runs a gallery in LA named Hildy. Hildy. Okay, so if you're out in. I'm, I used to be a Regina Rex intern. Okay. So if you're out in. You said. Lost Center City, Mid City, Mid City, LA. Drop in and see Hildy. Well, we'll come in and uh, do a little sweep over the exhibition here. Uh, by the way, I wanted to send a shout out to some of our viewers. We had a special person that posted from Rio de Janeiro. And also, I would like to uh, send out a Special thank you to our many, many, many viewers on the uh, Indian subcontinent. We've got a lot of people that have been watching for years there. So uh, we appreciate that. Well, keeping in uh, character with our half-assed approach, we don't have a press release or anything. I don't have any information on Zachary. So we're just going to take a quick run through here on a Sunday afternoon and maybe look at some of the works and uh, make some comments. This piece is titled Angel 2017 acrylic and spray paint glitter on canvas 40 by 20 inches. Well I stuck my head in here and I decided I liked what Zachary was doing with some of the work and uh, thought in certain ways it's kind of typical with what some other young artists are doing these days. So we'll take a look around here. Uh, one of the things I think that uh, he's playing on is the, the idea of the, the abject, kind of uh, poor or uh, maybe low quality heart materials and things. You know, like this sculpture is just uh, plaster of Paris on uh, particle board and uh, like maybe wood scraps that he's built his armature with. And also uh, the use of the fluorescent and spray paints and glitter I think is something that a lot of people are doing these days but I think Zachary does a very good job of it also, they're calling this the Love Chapel, and this is part of the USSA project, and I don't know what all the USSA stands for, but like I said, we're doing half-assed work here, so that's part of it. This is titled Body of Resistance, USSA Saints 2016. This is 84 by 43. Well, we talked about the fluorescent, we've talked about the glitter and the spray paint, and uh, also there's uh, a lot of text in here, and uh, although I didn't get a press release, I was handed this little brochure of uh, Zach's writings, and maybe it's philosophy, poetry, I don't know, manifestos. So obviously writing is a very important part of his practice. This is titled, Sex is Our Future Tense. And this is also part of the USS A Saints series.
Well, as a, a person that's been an oil painter for years, there are certain things about uh, acrylic and water-based mediums that some of it I like, some of it kind of sets my teeth on edge. Uh, <laughs> Partially, it's because I tried to work with a lot of these different kinds of surfaces, the metallic uh, pearlescence and uh, glitter myself for years, and uh, <laughs> never really got the kind of results I wanted. But I think Zach does a pretty good job. And uh, it also kind of puts it into the uh, category maybe of uh, Someone that was doing do-it-yourself posters or maybe even street art where you were doing something as a kind of designating an event, event or something. It's titled Overcome Your Mind. And uh, yeah, actually, even though these are, these are very high-keyed paintings, uh, Zach has got a pretty good color sense in uh, how he puts these together. It's a major piece. I don't know, but I would imagine that it's titled all power to the assembly. I often comment that I like uh, contrast and I think that you can't really do interesting painting if you don't know how to use contrast. And that's light against dark, thick against thin, curved against straight, shiny against matte. Also, uh, I think there's an aspect of that that deals with the textual, the linguistical versus the purely visual. And more of these figures, kind of like a uh, Giacometti from the nursery school. Oh, I don't know what he's using there for the secret agreement regarding the entry of the Soviet Union into the war against Japan. Oh, okay. Okay, here's another uh, abject material duct tape, although that's uh, that's pretty nice and shiny duct tape. This is part of the USS A Saints 2015 duct tape wood wire and paint. titled Heaven and Earth, acrylic and glitter on canvas, 88 by 42. Uh, I like this because, uh, yeah, despite all the uh, kind of naive scrawling and expressionism and uh, kind of childlike innocence that these kind of uh, portrait. This uh, double triangle is actually a very uh, sophisticated, almost like a Russian constructivist piece of uh, formalist design. So I think there's a little more uh, cooking under the surface than uh, might be apparent. Okay. 
speaking of Russian constructivism, <laughs> this is like a uh, 2017 kind of uh, fluorescent punk version. This is titled Portrait of God 2015, acrylic on canvas, 40 by 24. Uh, well, this is great. Uh, this makes me think that uh, Zachary could almost do a uh, version of Rochenko's The Ultimate Paintings, except he could do it all with the fluorescent colors. You know, I think Rochenko in 1915 or 1917 did uh, red, yellow, and blue. I've got a series of letters here. U-S-S-A, these are mixed media and watercolor, I think. And uh, I think it's about 20 by 30 inches, maybe. This is titled Cathedral of the Bright, and this is Pretty much straight ahead, I would say cubist inspired abstraction. And, uh, yeah, Zach is getting some nice uh, pedimetti, some beautiful uh, sections of overlaid pigments. Got our little spray painted fluorescent rainbow there at the bottom. Okay, let's run in the back room. Oh, I like this piece. Every new life is an afterlife. Uh, I was thinking a couple of these actually have the uh, sense of some of the Renaissance diagrams by Metaphysicists like Robert Flood, maybe, or Broima. I like this one. It's got a tricky title. It's called Trinity of Four. Twenty six by forty eight inches. And again, we've got the uh, metallic and phosphorescent paint. We've got the pearlescence and glitter. And so he's got his USSA thing hidden in there as well. But I like the way that he's just kind of repeated these geometric forms and stripes again and again and uh, built a nice uh, rhythm with that. This is Transfigure, 48 by 36. And this is almost uh, like some of the uh, tantric diagrams of the the body with the radiant power centers. Cathedral of Lost Souls. Acrylic and glitter on canvas 72 by 72. Well, I think it's worth noting that uh, most of the other paintings we've looked at have got a pretty light or high keyed color palette and uh, I think this might be one of the only ones where he's got some fairly dark sections, almost a burnt umber black background. And uh, also I like the way that the glitter has become kind of solid planes as opposed to something that's just sprinkled on. This little uh, 
ladder looks like it was done with masking tape and then uh, stained and spray painted over. S.A. James Com reporting on Zachary Cahill, U.S.S.A. Love Chapel here at Regina Rex. What's the address? Madison? 221. 221 Madison Street. At the very bottom of the Lower East Side. Gallery. And we're going to take a look at a show by Alice Mackler. I was uh, kind of intrigued when I peeked through the window and I decided I would come in and look at the show, and uh, then I read the press release and I thought it was pretty amazing. So I'll read you a little paragraph here. Carrie Schuess presents the third solo exhibition in New York by artist Alice Mackler. At 85 years of age, Mac Mackler continues to develop her art at full pace, making innovative studies with new works in three mediums, sculpture, painting, and drawing. The theme uniting these otherwise desperate bodies of work is the female figure and persona. On an aesthetic level, they all share the similarities of lively applications of exuberant color. The ceramic sculptures are notable for a vibrancy that comes from Ackler's adoption of pure white clay, which highlights her new glazing techniques of painterly strokes of bold color. And, well, that was what caught my eye I was just out in the street uh, talking to some casual passers-by and they, they looked in and they were quite taken but they were going gee what are those things are those chickens or what I said I, I don't know but the uh, press release says that they are female figures and images of female persona. Well, lucky for me, these are all untitled. But they talk about her exuberant uh, glazing and the colors, and uh, well, I think that is one of the aspects about this that is very appealing, very attractive. This is clay glaze four and a quarter by eight and a half inches. But this was a nice one. This is ten and a half by seven by six inches and uh, yeah so she's got her primary color she's got her red yellows and blues and uh, they're very punchy. Also, I think that uh, she's got a wonderful sense of form and shape, this uh, kind of pointillist painted arc over this head is nice. And then she's got uh, kind of the Janus heads, the two-faced two head figure. Also, uh, yeah, it's interesting to note that some of this is very glossy, some of it is very matte. This pair almost looks like a couple of salt and pepper shakers. 
And she's got her mostly oranges and reds. And I'm looking at a couple of these and I'm actually kind of getting an echo of uh, Nikki Sanfale, wonderful uh, European artist that was kind of associated with uh, Nouveau Realism, but uh, did a lot of giant female figure forms, goddess forms. And I like the uh, kind of expressionistic little strokes of glazing in there. Let's look at some of her paintings. Untitled, 2017 acrylic and collage on canvas. 20 by 16 inches, so she's taken a page out of a fashion magazine. Calvin Klein and uh, stuck it on her canvas with the brushy strokes. I don't know, I'm very ignorant. I'm sure that all of these uh, supermodels are probably well known celebrities in their own right. There's something that's nice about the uh, the scale and the way that she's laid out her rectangles and uh, yeah, some of these fields of uh, brush strokes kind of makes me think of uh, Joan Mitchell. ceramics. I think maybe this is the largest ceramic in the show. Kind of uh, makes me think of a uh, surrealistic garden gnome here of some kind. Oh, but the glazes are beautiful. I'll just slide down this wall of drawings. are all acrylic and ink on paper, 12 by 9 inches. James Calm reporting on Alice Mackler, sculpture paintings and drawings here at Cary Shoes Gallery, 34 Orchard Street on the Lower East Side. Thank you, Kate.